Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Atharv here with us who has been placed at Shapurji Palonji as a part of his campus placement at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. This was a core placement so that's pretty interesting. And before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. All BTEC students were eligible provided they had a 65% or a 6.5 CGPA above in 10th, 12th as well as in the pursuing degree were eligible provided they had no standing careers. Now let's go and talk to Atharv. Hi Atharv, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Hello, hi Jishnu, thank you for inviting me to your show. And uh, I'm Athar Chaudhary. I'm a final year mechanical student at VIT Vellore. I've recently finished my capstone project and now I'm waiting for my final results from the VIT. Okay. And I'm currently in the onboarding process with my uh, placement company, Shakurji Polonji. And like we will, we are asked to join on the 3rd August at their Bombay office headquarters as a graduate engineering trainee in the mechanical field okay. and in their Bombay. Right. Okay, uh, thank you for that. You cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and how it happened. Yeah, so like our company, the said company, Shapurji Polonji, came on the 3rd November 2022. And like they uh, prescribed the uh, eligibility criteria for all the, like we have to keep the all our marks and percentage about 65% okay. with no active backlogs and uh, you should have an Indian nationality. Okay. Right. So after applying on the 3rd November, on 14 November, November, a list was uh, on 10th or 11 November. A list was released in which top 150 students were shortlisted okay. after applying. Hmm. So we uh, had our online test on 14 November, and then there were two sections: a two test which was 60 minutes and 30 questions for 30 minutes. Hmm. Sorry, <laughs> a sec. Uh, 30 questions for 30 minutes in technical test as well as the aptitude test which has 60 questions for 60 minutes. Okay. Now the online test was um, over, 20 people were shortlisted here. Later on, on the, um, around the 28th November, they released the second list around, of which 20 people were shortlisted from which the, um, they had taken interview and GD for them. Okay. So how they did not take our GD, but there was an interview process and it was a uh, Followed by, like, we had a proper interview uh, from which 20 students, uh, 7 were qualified. Okay. In the interview, mostly they asked about the technical questions uh, of our, our interests and hobbies and around from that area. So, I was a mechanical student. They asked me from the SOM, thermal and like material subjects. So, okay. these are some of the subjects which I asked for. Okay. So, Finally, after 2nd December interview day, hmm. on 5th December, they announced the results and 7 people were qualified, 5 were from civil branch, 1 I am from mechanical and 1 guy from mechanical automotive branch. Okay, okay. Right. So, okay. like this was the whole process which was around a month long process but uh, we easily did the whole thing. Okay, okay. That's really great. Thank you again for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into co companies? Yeah, so like as you as as you seeing the name, the core. So basically, you need to have a proper conceptual and fundamental knowledge of the topics or the domain which you are interested in. Right. So as a mechanical domain, I should have the knowledge about the strength of materials, hmm. thermodynamics, and all the other various core fields. Hmm. So for this, I would like to suggest that you should start with studying about the gate. Like if you're studying for the gate as well, you are mastering your core topics as well as you are revising the math topics which has been already taught in your colleges. Hmm. Hmm. Before starting, you should also try to keep your CGP above 9. Like mine was not above 9, but at least try to keep it above 8. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Also, if you try to do research papers throughout your first three years, hmm. try to get it published soon as possible so that uh, these research papers gives the like uh, shows expert expertise and the research acumen of your uh, right. personal topic. Right. So that will be very helpful and shows how committed you are to a particular topic. Okay. Apart from this, like attitude is a must. You should know about the attitude. Either use CAD books for the attitude or use R.K. Grawal. So like these are the basics so like aptitude will be asked everywhere be prepared okay. with it okay so apart from this uh, 
try to enrich your CV. Uh, do uh, projects under uh, our research guides or like uh, your professors. Hmm. Do internships in your domain companies. Like if you are planning for construction company, do right. construction um, construction based hmm. internships hmm. or like any other research based industry internships. Right. Right. Apart from this, um, like have some uh, interview uh, proper interview skills. Like hmm. try to. First of all, do a basic research about the companies and try to align your interests with them okay. so that they see you as a future potential employee. Hmm. So that will be helpful for the other companies. Okay. And last, like, um, try to um, do internships in startup as well. So that will help you in increasing your core knowledge. Right. Okay. So, like, these are some of the suggestions. I hope people try to implement some of them at least. Okay. It worked for me. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you again for sharing your experience and for sharing your suggestions. And yeah, thank you. Thank you.